Utah State made a splash in its first season in the Mountain West last fall, playing in the inaugural Mountain West Championship game. As it continues to justify and it just cement the way you're doing things as the right way. But by no means do we think that we've arrived. Expectations continue to elevate in Aggie country this fall, especially with the return of Chucky Keaton, who had thrown 18 touchdown passes in six games before a knee injury cut his season short. Keaton admits being forced to watch from the sidelines was tough, but it helped him become a better quarterback. I was able to work with the quarterback coach a little bit, so I feel a little bit more technically sound uh, throwing the football. Uh, I feel stronger in my legs. Uh, I feel I feel much better. Utah State has launched a Heisman campaign for its healthy leader to kick off the season. There's no question he's got God-given ability and talent, but he is a junkie and an overachiever in so many ways that takes his talent to another level. The thing that sets Chucky Keaton apart is he's a very, very selfless young man. He cares more about our program, about this logo, and about our culture and our locker room more than he does himself. And so anything that comes to him from an individual standpoint is not only merited, but it's deserved. I take a lot of pride in it, but really I think my teammates do more than, more than I do. Uh, I, I think I understand the things that come before, uh, before you get to like a position where you can win a Heisman. It's just like trying to get a promotion. You gotta come to work on time every day. So I know you gotta win games in order to in order, to, uh, in order to even get your name really into the Heisman. And uh, of course, the stats come with it. The Aggies return plenty of depth at wide receiver, including the versatile JoJo Natson, Brandon Swindoll, who led the team with six touchdown catches a year ago, and Ronald Butler, who had a career-high 145 yards receiving in the Mountain West Championship game. At running back, Joe Hill returns to the lineup after he too suffered a season-ending knee injury last year. Joe Hill is... Um, a little bit maybe still of an unknown in the Mountain West, but not in our minds and in our, in our program. I think he's an explosive young man. When the ball hits his hands, he's got a chance to hit a home run every time. The cornerstone of the Aggies in 2014 will no doubt be the defense. Four all-league players returned from a team that ranked in the top 15 nationally in four defensive categories, including Zach Vigil, who will be starting alongside his brother Nick at linebacker. Nick's a, a better athlete than me. I've said that all along. Um, how do you deal with that? Well, you just let him know he's still a little brother. We're brother rivalry. We're always going to be pushing each other, and I think that's great. Um, Tackle-wise and all that stuff, we're all good. we're both going to have good, a lot of tackles, so I'm not worried about it. As long as we're winning games, that's what's important. The Utah State secondary will be anchored by Brian Sweet, an all-league safety who is the glue to the defense, according to head coach Matt Wells. He's able to teach um, but how he's able to teach and become a leader is directly based on his production on game day. The guy produces. Utah State opens up defense of its Mountain West Mountain Division title when it hosts Air Force for the conference opener on October 11th. That's after the Aggies play five straight non-conference games to kick off the season, including a trip to Tennessee on August 31st. The stage that you're on, you get to go to the SEC, play in front of 100,000 people, for our team, that's going to be, that's going to set the tone for the season. Nothing ever phases us, no. does it? I know that the guys that have been there and they've done that, they've been on those stages, whether it's at Auburn, whether it's Madison, Wisconsin, whether it's in Utah or BYU or in the Coliseum, they will not flinch. And um, we'll be in the game. We have to find a way to take this program to another level and win one of those games on that stage. For the Mountain West Network, I'm Jesse Kurtz. Okay.